Hi, I'm State Senator Tracy McCreary. Legislative session wrapped up on Friday, May 12th, and I just wanted to give you a quick update on some issues that you may have been following this session. The Missouri legislature did pass a balanced budget onto the governor in early May. We met our constitutional deadline by about an hour. Within that budget, we raised teacher pay, and there's also funding in there to both improve and expand I-70. On the last day of session, on the 12th, the Missouri House took up and passed the postpartum health care extension bill that I've been talking to you about all session. So Senate bills 45 and 90 are now headed to the governor's desk. And I just want to thank all of you who helped work on this bill throughout session. It's, this is a really big victory for the moms and their newborns who really depend on health care to make sure they can stay healthy during their first year postpartum. I have said all along that helping women and children should be a nonpartisan issue, and what the legislature did this session on these bills truly shows that it was. Some other things that are going on, my Stop Cyber Stalking and Harassment Task Force was in a bill that passed, so that's headed to the governor's desk as well. The impetus for this bill was victims had reached out to my predecessor, former Senator Shu, about the importance of making sure that our state laws are keeping up with the times. As all of you know, you know, almost everybody's online now. The technology is just changing every day. And so we, assuming the governor signs the bill, will be getting together a team of experts to make sure we're doing everything we can to help prevent these cyber crimes, and if those crimes do happen, to make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect the victims. Another priority of mine that made it across the finish line is a bill that updates the definition of the tattooing. Many of you probably know people that get microblading done. It's a form of cosmetic tattooing, and Missouri was one of the states where that was not regulated, and I've heard from people that have had very botched experiences with untrained, unlicensed microblading people. I am really proud to get that legislation across the finish line. It's a public health issue because microblading involves cutting the skin, and if someone doesn't know the way to do that, it can lead to terrible infections and permanent disfigurement. But also, some of the people that I talked to had such bad experiences that it affect their relationships and their ability to work and everything. So I'm really proud of the teamwork on getting that across the finish line as well. Anyway, the regular session has wrapped up, but that doesn't mean that me and my office are not going to be working. So please keep in touch. You can reach me by phone, email, you know, or just stop by. Thank you so much.